I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Lucky Minerals has received new assays from its Fortuna property in southern Ecuador. The 100% owned Fortuna property covers 550 square kilometers or approximately 55,000 hectares in a highly prospective yet underexplored gold belt in southern Ecuador. Systematic sampling has returned up to 5.87 grams per ton gold with an average of 3.06 grams per ton gold over 4 meters from ongoing work at its Weka epithermal gold discovery. Weka lies along an elevated ridge that trends northeast with elevations ranging from approximately 3,600 meters to 3,700 meters above sea level and is bound to the east by the El Butre Porphyry and to the west by the Emma Porphyry. Leckie's exploration team has continued with geological mapping and sampling at Weka. Terraspec analysis of rock samples taken from the southern zone of Weka has outlined an area of advanced argillic alteration. The higher temperature alteration minerals with outcrops of Vuggie silica that measures approximately 800 meters by 1,000 meters and remains open to the south. At the southern part of the advanced argillic zone, the company recently reported a panel sample that returned 4.15 grams per ton gold. This sample was identified to be part of a breccia structure, a feeder which is comprised of millimetric up to centimetric subrounded fragments of quartz and diverse lithic fragments in an affinitic silica-rich ground matrix with stains of gothite and limonite. A nearby area of siliceous outcrop was targeted for systematic sampling. The first field visit has systematically sampled 4 meters across a partially exposed siliceous outcrop and one of the samples returned up to 5.87 grams per ton gold from a siliceous volcanic breccia which is believed to be a feeder with an elongated geometry. The attitude, width and continuity of this structure is currently being determined by field crews. The average gold grade across 4 meters includes wall rock, averages 3.06 grams per ton gold, and for the breccia structure of 3 meters, the average was 3.50 grams per ton gold. At present, Weka has been observed to remain open in all directions. Exploration teams are focused on geological mapping and the gathering of rock samples from outcrop to increase our understanding of the current zones and expand the known footprint of the mineralized system. This work will be followed by a detailed MAG survey and trenching program which will subsequently lead to scout drilling. Field work continues at El Garo which is located less than 8 kilometers north of Weka. El Garo is a large epithermal system with outcrops of dacite and buggy silica. Due to a lack of outcrop, the soil sampling program initiated last year is now presently in the process of being completed. Results from this program will be combined with trenching followed by a detailed MAG survey leading to a drilling program at El Garo. Continued field work at Sherman in an area known as Makuche is mainly comprised of geological mapping and sampling. Also, old pit type excavations are being cleared of brush to expose the bedrock. A 20 meter long hand dug trench which was systematically sampled at 1 meter intervals returned an average of 0.33 grams per ton gold. Francois Perron, President and CEO, has joined us today with additional comments. Welcome Francois. Thank you Cassandra. Yeah, it's very exciting right now. Today we just put out, uh, I think, the most exciting news we've had in the last 18 months at the company. And it's exciting because it's it's a step change in what the company is about. Um, if you look at you know 18 months ago or like two years ago, we have a huge land package in Ecuador. It's it's very large. There's been artisanal gold that mining there for hundreds of years, but we hadn't finished connecting the dots. Our first work, you know, we started to find anomalous gold. And I think that, you know, about since February of this year, we, we've stumbled upon something called Weka that we're calling Weka. And it's a very interesting target. And the most recent thing or update with respect to that part of our project is what we published this morning. And what it was is a trench that was four meters wide. So it's not super long yet, but the average grade of the trench was uh, three grams or a little bit more than three grams. Why is that exciting? Because it's still not a huge thing. Well, in the nature of the systems we're looking at, okay, these are called high uh, sulfidation epithermal deposits. These are usually low grade disseminated. So they're huge in terms of tonnage, 
and they usually average one to one and a half gram. So if you pick up the mineralization, which comes up through feeders, which is what we have with this, and of the four meters, there's three meters that's inside the feeder, but there's one meter that's in the country rock, and that one meter has 1.75 grams. So all of a sudden, I've got proof, fact, okay? So I'm not just like saying, hey, it's gonna be like this. Uh, no, I can demonstrate, I have demonstrated, or the team has demonstrated that we have mineralization that came up through the feeder. It, it could be economic for an open pit if I get sufficient tonnage. And that juice that came up through the feeder has fed into the country rock. So that is exciting. How much, how far, how deep? These are all questions we're gonna answer. We're really, really lucky this week because when, when we went there, we exposed this. This area is actually a very tabular feature in the, geo in the, in the geography. So we can probably expose a lot of this structure with relatively little effort. We're gonna be able to do a channel I don't know how long yet, because that'll depend on what they come up with in the field. But uh, if I can get the equivalent of a drill hole just by you know channeling across and opening up the ground, looking at the rock, and then we're gonna do systematic samples just as if it were a drill hole. So you do it by you know like doing saw cuts. And so that's a very representative way of sampling. I, I'm super excited because we could be able to demonstrate we have one of these low grade bulk tonnage systems and we'll know what the grade is fairly soon, at least at this first trench we're gonna do. So I'm super excited because if I were to script how things would start, this is how they would begin. We still got a lot of work to do, but I am really excited today and uh, I wanted to share that with your network, Cassandra. Thanks very much. The shares are trading at eight and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, luckyminerals.com. Contact Francois Perron, President and CEO at 866-924-6484 or by email at investors at luckyminerals.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.